hello everyone today we are going to learn the way how to find out the geometry of a molecule this is a very important topic from this topic questions are asked almost every year in every competitive examination like medical engineering net gate slet civil services etc first we are going to learn the relation between the number of electron pairs around the central atom hybridization and electron pair geometry or the electron pair arrangement let us make a table with the three columns the left column is for the number of electron pairs around the central atom which is equal to the sum of the number of bond pairs and lone pairs the middle column is for hybridization and the right column is for the electron pair geometry before filling this table we should first know that an s orbital can have maximum one electron pair a p orbital can have maximum three electron pairs and a d orbital can have maximum 5 electron pairs if there are two electron pairs around the central atom to find out the hybridization just write sp put one on s because it can have maximum one electron pair and put remaining one on p so the hybridization will become s1 p1 or simply we can write sp the electron pair geometry will be linear if there are three electron pairs around the central atom to find out the hybrid adjacent just write sp put one on s and put remaining two electron pairs on p so the hybrid digestion will become s1 p2 or simply we can say sp2 the electron pair geometry will be trigonal planar if there are four electron pairs around the central atom to find out the hybrid adjacent just write sp put one on s and put remaining three electron pairs on p so the hybridization will become s1 p3 or simply sp3 the electron pair geometry will be tetrahedral if there are five electron pairs around the central atom to find out the hybridization write spd put one on s three on p and the remaining one electron pair on d so the hybrid adjacent will become s1 p3 d1 or simply sp3 d the electron pair geometry will be trigonal bipyramidal if there are six electron pairs around the central atom to find out the geometry uh, to find out the hybrid adjacent write sp d put one on s 3 on p and the remaining two on d so the hybrid digestion will become s1 p3 d2 or simply sp3 d2 the electron pair geometry will be octahedral similarly if there are seven electron pairs around the central atom the hybrid digestion will become sp3 d2 and the hybrid digestion will be sp3 d3 and the electron pair geometry will be pentagonal bipyramidal now we will learn the relation between the electron pair geometry and molecular geometry electron pair geometry and molecular geometry may be same or different depending upon the number of lone pairs on the central atom let us make a table with five columns 
to see the relation between the electron pair geometry and the molecular geometry with different examples. Starting from the left, put electron pair geometry, number of lone pairs on the central atom, molecular geometry, ideal bond angle and examples. The electron pair geometry and molecular geometry are the same for a molecule having no lone pair of electrons on the central atom. If the electron pair geometry is linear and the number of lone pair on the central atom is zero, then the molecular geometry will also be linear. Ideal bond angle will be 180 degrees. BeCl2, CO2 and N3- minus are the examples of this type of molecules. If the electron pair geometry is trigonal planar and the number of lone pairs on the central atom is zero, then the molecular geometry will also be trigonal planar. Ideal bond angle will be 120 degrees. BF3, SO3, CO3 double minus are the examples of this type of molecules. If the electron pair geometry is trigonal planar and the number of lone pair on the central atom is 1, then to find out the molecular geometry, you just ignore the lone pair. This will result a molecular geometry which is called bent, angular or V-shaped geometry. Ideal bond angle will be 120 degrees. O3, SO2 and NO2- minus are the examples of this type of molecules. If the electron pair geometry is tetrahedral and the number of lone pair on the central atom is zero, then the molecular geometry will be tetrahedral. Ideal bond angle will be 109.5 degrees. CH4, NH4 plus, PO3 triple minus are the example of this type of molecules. If the electron pair geometry is tetrahedral and the number of lone pair on the central atom is 1, then to find out the molecular geometry, ignore the lone pair. This will result trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. Ideal bond angle will be 109.5 degrees. NH3, H3O plus, XeO3 are the example of this type of molecules. If the electron pair geometry is tetrahedral and the number of lone pair on the central atom is 2, then ignore the lone pairs that will result angular molecular geometry. This is also called bent or V-shaped geometry. Ideal bond angle will be 109.5 degrees. H2O, NH2 minus, ClO2 minus are the example of this type of molecules. For a molecule with trigonal bipyramidal electron pair geometry having zero lone pair on the central atom, the molecular geometry will also be trigonal bipyramidal. Ideal bond angles are 90 and 120 degrees. PCL5, SF5- minus are the example of this type of molecules. In general, for a molecule in which there are both the axial and equatorial orientations of the electron pairs, always put lone pairs on the equatorial position if the number of electron pairs are odd. Like in the case of trigonal bipyramidal and pentagonal bipyramidal geometry of electron pairs and put lone pairs on the axial position if the number of electron pairs are even like in the case of octahedral electron pair geometry. For a molecule with the trigonal bipyramidal electron pair geometry having one lone pair we will put lone pair on the equatorial position because 
द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर इज ऑड इग्नोरेंस ऑफ लोन पेयर विल रिजल्ट सी सॉ ऑल्सो कॉल्ड डिस्टॉर्टेड टेट्राहाइड्रल मॉलिकुलर जियोमेट्री आइडियल बॉन्ड एंगल्स आर नाइन्टी एंड वन ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज टी ई सी एल फोर एस एफ फोर आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स फॉर अ मॉलिक्यूल विथ ट्राइगोनल बाई पिरामिडल इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर जियोमेट्री हैविंग टू लोन पेयर्स ऑन द सेंट्रल एटम वी विल पुट लोन पेयर्स ऑन द इक्विटोरियल पोजिशन बिकॉज द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स इज ऑट Ignorance of lone pairs will result T shaped molecular geometry. Ideal bond angle is 90 degree. CLF3 XCF3 plus are the example of this type of molecules. For a molecule with trigonal bipyramidal electron pair geometry having three lone pairs on the central atom we will put lone pairs on the equatorial position because the number of electron pairs is odd ignorance of lone pair will result linear molecular geometry ideal bond angle is 180 degree i3 minus icl2 minus xcf2 are the example of this type of molecule for a molecule with octahedral electron pair geometry having zero lone pair on the central atom molecular geometry will also be octahedral ideal bond angle is 90 degrees sf6 si f6 double minus as f6 minus are the example of this type of molecules for a molecule with the octahedral electron pair geometry having one lone pair on the central atom we will put lone pair on the axial position because the number of electron pairs is even ignorance of lone pair will result a square pyramidal molecular geometry ideal bond angle is 90 degree if5 sf5 minus sbf5 double minus are the examples of this type of molecules for a molecule with octahedral electron pair geometry having two lone pair on the central atom we will put lone pair on the axial position because the number of electron pairs is even ignorance of lone pair will result a square planar molecular geometry ideal bond angle is 90 degrees xcf4 icl4 minus are the example of this type of molecule for a molecule with pentagonal bipyramidal electron pair geometry having zero lone pair on the central atom molecular geometry will also be pentagonal bipyramidal ideal bond angles are 90 and 72 degrees if7 zr f7 triple minus are the example of this type of molecules for a molecule with pentagonal bipyramidal electron pair geometry having one lone pair on the central atom we will put lone pair on the equatorial position because the number of electron pairs is odd ignorance of lone pair will result distorted octahedral molecular geometry ideal bond angle are 90 and 72 degrees xcf6 is the example of this type of molecule